So you want to move from one planner to another and you want to take your collections with you? Whether I'm migrating out of a full journal or just a system I'm tired of, and whatever kind of binding I'm moving into or out of, this is the way I do it. You'll need some scratch paper, post-it page flags, matching highlighters, and a pen for writing. I start by flipping through my current setup and then deciding how I want to organize the new planner. In this case, I'm moving into a ring binder, so I'm splitting my pages into seven sections to go between dividers. These categories can also be inserts in a traveler's notebook or just the order you want your bound journal set up in. Assign colors to each division or category. Next, you'll want to go through and put one page flag on each page that you want to move into your new planner system. Use the colored post-its that correspond with the category the page will fit into. Now go back through the page flags one more time. Write the title of each collection on its page flag and set those aside. Some pages are probably self-explanatory enough that they don't even need a page flag. You already know which section each flag belongs to, but now as you stick the flags in their corresponding category, you can organize them in whatever order you want to. Feel free to play around with the order of the pages and the categories. And don't forget that you haven't committed to anything yet, you can always move a collection to a different category at this stage. And now you have it, a physical table of contents for your new planner. You can even put each post-it on its own blank page in your new planner so that you don't forget which collection is supposed to go there. No need to even create collections in order this way. I hope this quick video was helpful and gave you some ideas for your own planner system. Leave a comment if you have any migration hacks of your own and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.